You're just jealous. Jealous? Jealous? You don't even exist to me! My first time using Monster Clay. It's hard, kind of like a candle wax. Ew. Apparently, it needs to be heated up to work with it. So, into the crock pot she goes. Wish me luck. Welcome to part two of 3D Sculpt with me. So essentially after doing that, I realized that I ended up cloning my layers of both the head and the flower petals. So now if I wanna go back and fix those flower petals, I can because I have two non-meshed versions. But anyway, after I meshed them together, it was just a lot of smoothing. Smoothing, smoothing, and smoothing. It took me a lot of time to do that. But in the end, it was all worth it. I had meshed the two sculptures together. I realized that a lot of the definition I had in the, you know, the nose, the lips, even the eyes, had got lost so then i had to go back and rework all of that which was so tedious because i was getting bored and i ended up adding eyebrows and that and then somewhere along the way i tried fixing the eyelashes but then gave up and then i came back you know started messing around i was like oh it looks very pretty looks very pretty but then i came back and i think i started painting oh yeah here i am i'm painting so it gave more depth to the eyes and eyebrows between the area this is where i realized that the eyes were messed up the little eye back thing so i had to redo them and yeah so come back for part three When you didn't measure your proportions well and have to use radical measures, I recently made a video where I wanted to see if I could take about $100 worth of material and some relatively inexpensive tools like this die grinder with a cut saw contour wheel here and see if I could sell it for $1,000 profit and I wasn't going to use any of my social media to do so. I really liked the idea of using these cut saw discs for this particular project because they only cost about $60 and most people already own an angle grinder so it makes this project pretty approachable for most people. I have a handful of these cut saw discs, but the two main ones that I recommend are the extreme blue disc that you see here and the original fine disc that you see me putting on here. Both of these are made from tungsten carbide bonded to a steel plate, so the tungsten lasts a very, very long time. I have never actually even replaced any of my cut saw discs so far. After I was pretty happy with the rough shape of these, I brought it inside and started smoothing out those high points with a spoke shave. And I haven't used the spoke shave a ton, but I need to start using it more because it did an excellent job at smoothing out all of those high points. From there, I just used some 40 grit and my Rotex sander, and this took a little bit of elbow grease, and it was nice to have the dust collection because it did remove a lot of material. From there, it was just really filling some small imperfections and making it perfect sanding up to 180 grit. After I was satisfied with this sanding job, I added two coats of Rubia Monaco and I attached two tops that I had previously made. And if you think this is going a little fast, I have a full YouTube video that gives step-by-step -step instructions on how I made this and exactly how I sold it. Because after I got these together, I took some really good pictures, created a fake Etsy account and put them up for sale for $1,200. And in eight days they sold and I was thrilled. And this is something that I genuinely think anybody can do. 
voices told me I had no loving arms to hold me Every day I wake up and I start to break up Lonely is a man without love Every day I start out then I cry my heart out Lonely is a man cannot face this world that's fallen down on me 